Hi, I'm Thomas, and today we'll be learning how to wear and adjust an Alien Gear holster. So today I have with me a Glock 23, along with an outside the waistband and a brand new inside the waistband Cloak Tuck 2.0 holster. So we have an instruction sheet, we have a sticker, a parts pack of spare hardware, and a holster. So putting on the inside the waistband holster is pretty easy. I'm just gonna give you a couple tips here to might make it a little easier. First, you need to decide where you're gonna wear it. You can wear it at three o'clock right here, or most people find this position better, right over the back pocket, which is uh, you know about four o'clock, 4.30, something like that. And if you're a bigger guy, it's easier to wear it over here on the point of the hip, but the skinnier guys need it back here. You need that handgun handle, the grip, to lay flat against your body. And it's going to be hard to do that if it's sticking out here. Now, putting this on, you'll want to start in the front and pull it around to the back. And I like to start with my thumb inside the shell. Now, grab the bottom of the shell with a couple of fingers. I'll slide it in and pull it around. So, just undo your belt, loosen your pants. Don't pull your zipper down all the way, just most of the way. Go ahead and grab your holster just like that. Put it in the front. And then once it's in the front, just slide it around to where you want it. Now you can just grab a clip, put it on, pull it up in the back here so this back clip is high enough. Now you can go ahead and snap your pants, leave your belt undone though. So with your pistol now, keep your finger off, that, off the trigger, go ahead and holster. So you've got it where you need it. Go ahead and buckle your belt at this point and make sure to cinch that nice and tight. Okay, you don't want this flopping around. Now that holds it nice and tight against my body and it's perfectly in position. It's an easy draw and an easy reholster. These are also tuckable. So if you wanna wear your shirt tucked in, all you have to do is pull your shirt up here, pull it back around the gun. You will loosen your pants, loosen your belt under your top snap. If you undo your zipper just a little bit, if you're wearing slacks or something that are gonna fall down, make sure to keep a hold on it with your left hand. And then you will just tuck your shirt around the gun, behind the clips, button everything back up. And then when you're done, you're gonna to wanna to blouse this shirt a little bit, okay? So it doesn't print. And just make sure that everything looks normal. Look in the mirror and you're good to go. So to take the holster off, the first thing you need to do is pull out your pistol and make it safe. Then there's a little lip on the bottom of the over the belt clip. You just pull out on that and push up, get it off over the belt. Same thing on the back clip. Then you can grab the top of the holster and simply pull up. It will disengage and be completely free. So that's the over the belt clip. It's our standard nylon clip. We also have the steel version of that. It goes on and off the exact same way, functions the same. This is our leather loop. If you put this in place of the standard loops, it will go on and off a little bit differently. So the first thing you'll do is without putting your belt on, first take your holster, position it, put it over your pants the way you normally would, but then you'll run your belt around and through these loops. And the reason is it's very difficult to snap these once you're already wearing your belt. You can quickly unsnap it to disengage it and remove your holster once you're wearing it. But putting it on, you'll need to thread your belt through this first. And it sits just like that on your belt. Now this is a C-clip, similar to an over the belt, but it goes just a little bit over and under the belt. This goes on the same way as the standard over the belt clips. You will position your belt. You'll already have your belt on. You'll position the holster back here. The difference is instead of going over your belt, you will go over your pants, but behind the belt. First, you'll hook the little nub on the bottom, and then you'll bring the top over like that. And it will hold the holster, it'll hold the weight of the gun on the top, and the bottom will not be able to lift up because it's hooked on the bottom of the belt. Now you can unhook this by popping it off like that, push the bottom out first and lift away, or you can just unthread your belt. Either way works fine. And finally, we have a J-clip. The J-clip will go on the same as a C-clip. You'll put the holster in position. The clip will go 
over the pants, behind the belt, and it just hooks on the bottom and you're done. This shows very little clip, but puts the weight of the gun on your pants, not the belt. So all you see on the J-clip is that tiny little nub. Now, if you have an outside the waistband holster, it's going to go on a little bit different. There are two loops on the back and you need to decide where you're going to wear this. If I'm going to wear this here, I need to look at the last belt loop that this will go past and I need to unthread to that point. Now, I can thread the first loop on the holster, then go through my pants belt loop, and then the final loop on the holster. Finalize the position and finish threading. Pull your belt snug, and there you go. To take this off, you can either unthread your entire belt, or you can just, once again, pull out of that loop, through your pants, slide it off, and then re-thread your belt. Our holsters are adjustable for cant, ride height, and retention. The included hardware pack has an Allen key that's used to make the adjustments. To adjust the cant, or the angle that the holster faces, simply raise or lower one or both clips. There's a spacer between the clip and the backer. Just move that to the desired hole and reattach the clip. Make sure it's good and snug. Now that will cause the holster to cant more upwards. To adjust the ride height, you would move both clips at the same time, up or down. Raising the clips lowers the ride height. And this is all a personal preference and your body shape will dictate this more than anything. Just find the position that works best for you. Now the holster will ride lower in your pants. To adjust the retention, which is the grip that the holster has on your firearm, all you have to do is tighten or loosen these screws. If you get them too tight, you're not going to be able to pull your gun out. If you get it too loose, it may fall out when you're running, so you need to find that happy median. If you can't get the adjustments that you want with the included screws, then look to your hardware pack. There's some extra parts, like T-nuts and finishing washers. There's also different size spacers and screws. So if you want this looser than what you can get with the stock screws, just get a longer screw out of the pack with a longer spacer, or if you want it to be tighter, just find one of the smaller spacers and the smaller screws and replace those. Don't forget that your Alien Gear holster has free shell trades for life. The shell is universal and removable, so if you ever decide to carry a different gun, just send us the old shell and we'll send you a new one for your holster. All you have to do is unscrew these four screws, put this shell in its place, and you have a new holster. And just like that, our holster is now perfectly fitted to the new gun. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information on how to wear and adjust the holster, please visit AlienGearHolsters.com. And don't forget to subscribe.